Up here. Nice video, but pity that plant's in the background, right? Can't do anything about it now, right? Well, I can remove it. There you go. Gone. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, 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 you scripts. And as always, thanks for joining me as you do, I guess. All right, so we've all done this. We've all sat down, made a video, and then realized there's something in the background that just shouldn't be there. And your option is to, well, reshoot it again. Well, fear not. Now, I will uh, inform you, there are limitations to this. So ideally, if you're doing, say, vlogs, where talking heads, where you're just standing there talking to camera, no camera shakes off movement, this will work perfectly. I'm not saying there's no other option, but for now, this way is quite easy to do. Now, I was recently given also the Paint Shop Pro by Corel, and I was playing around with that, and I initially started creating the video using Paint Shop Pro. So what I had done, I had basically made a small photo of the exact same background, and then all I wanted to do was just then mask this out. And then I realized something that Paint Shop Pro could do that Corel Video Studio could also do. Video Studio could use the Painting Creator. So Painting Creator is basically the mini version of Paint Shop Pro. So what we're gonna do, we first we're gonna take the eyedropper and match it very close to where, where I am rather than where the plant is. Then I'm gonna to go to the brush tool and I'm gonna slightly enlarge this to say around about 300 or so. And I'm also gonna jack up the opacity so I can see the background nice and clear. Now we're not actually erasing, we're just painting over the tree. And this is what we're gonna do like so. And I'm also going to try and paint as close as I can to myself. All right, so I'm going to do this. So hopefully I can sell that illusion that the plant is completely gone. Okay, now once I have done this, but just be careful in case you do decide to move a lot. And just remember where you move, not to paint there. Take a snapshot. Once you're happy with that, press OK and it'll be now in your library. Now, you can see that this already created a mask. So when, once I drop this onto the timeline, it automatically has made it disappear. Look at that. All right, so I've got some little bit residual. I can go in and fix it up if I wanted to, but I'm okay with this. All I have to do now is just time it like, oh, it's gone, yeah. Just, now we actually might have to edit a bit. Whoop, gone. All right, now what I did towards the end was I actually rendered this video out and then I brought it back into Video Studio and then I just did some color correcting so this ended up just looking a little bit better. So there you go, my friends. If you're looking to remove some objects, this is an easy way to do it. And as always, thanks for watching.